I'm thankful for the life I live. Thankful the love you give. Thankful for the life I live. I am so thankful. I am so thankful. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house. Welcome with me, your host, Khadija. Listen, you guys, you know, this is really starting to get on my nerves. And I remember that one time my dad said something that was real profound. He was talking to one of his brother friends. And he said to him, no, uh, I, I, I can't trust them. These, I can't trust these infidels and riffraff. Would you want your son to be caught up with these bandits and thieves and liars up in their court systems and their judicial systems that are full of what, just, just reeking with evil? And I was like, wow, that really, you know. Got him to use a lot of, you know, harsh words. It stuck with me as a kid. And when I saw this article today, I'm like, you know what? Enough is enough. Uh, and I'm at the point where this Dr. Fauci dude, I believe, should go to uh, J-A-I-L. Because I really don't trust him any at all. And I don't know if I'm just the only one or if I'm paranoid. Um, those of y'all who have information that uh, somebody sent me some about him and the HIV, um, the AIDS uh, crisis. Uh, my thing is, there's a lot of information out there on this man. And he really... Is, you know, you, you should red, raise some red flags with him. Okay, I'm I'm not completely convinced, but I'm on the fence leading to falling off of it that he's a a, a quack and a demagogue. So now I'm gonna share this with you guys, and I just want y'all to hear this because you know they've just unleashing all types of stuff on us to get this population down. Okay. In, in my opinion, this is exactly the world population is too much. And because they want to play God, they want to eliminate and get rid of us. Unwanted population. They've always done it. When General Elmhurst took the smallpox to the Indians in blankets, in the Native American in blankets, so he could wipe them out like a genocide, just wiped that whole populace out. They have always used chemical and biological warfare to get rid of us. This is no different. This is actually really what you call Satan's domain. I don't care what nobody said. It makes you think about that scripture when uh, uh, Satan told Jesus, bow down and you can have all this. Jesus said, get behind me because I don't want none of that. Well, that was America, the great Babylon, the great whore, and anything that's like her. I mean, that's that. it's starting to be relevant. I hate to even talk like this, but anyway, I want y'all to hear this. For the past several months, a more crime subvariants BA4 and BA5 have dominated the COVID-19 cases in the U.S., right? But now, y'all, there's a new class of COVID subvariants on the rise, and one particular is getting plenty of attention. It's called XBB or Griffon, Griffon. And there is a chance it could overtake everything else out there. Here we go again. Here we go again. XBB is getting a lot of buzz because it spreads fast. It seems to be able to evade immunity that people have built up 
from having previous COVID-19 infection or getting the vaccine. That's see there? So now people that are falling apart and it seems like they're having troubles with their H-E-A-R-T because of the first one. Now they say, oh, that ain't no good. So you're probably going to have to have some more shots. I don't, I don't believe nothing this devil says. Nothing. Nothing. Look at the history. Before you start thinking about everything as well, it's only for your own good. Think of the history of, vac of vaccinations in this country. Think of the history of how they've always gotten rid of population and had population control with it. Come on, man. I mean, I'm saying that we've all been inoculated. I understand that. And maybe for the good in some cases or we didn't, we stopped the TB. And even with things that are bad, there's always some good in it. Nothing is 100% bad, right? There's always some good. They find a little good to spread around there. Because this whole community is suspect. Um, they say it's a lot early, but they got a lot to learn. But this XBB is more deadlier. It's the new coronavirus. Okay, now what is the XBB variant? XBB is one of the new class over Marion, Amarokron variants. That are spreading fast right now, says uh, Thomas Russo, professor in chief of infectious diseases at the Buffalo of U University of Buffalo, New York. That includes BQ1, BQ, BQ11, BQ1, BQ1.3. Look at all these damn variants. They done, they done leashed out on our butts. BA2.320. And y'all think this is normal? Y'all think this is some this comes this is a natural construct? How many fools out there do we have that believe that? And I hate to call you that, but at this point, it's like how many of us really believe that? How many of us believe everything these people tell us? You know, I mean, it's a fine line. You have free will, you can do what you want. But for me and mine, I, I'd rather be apprehensive about these people and what they're trying to do. Because the HBB is a hybrid version of two strands. Uh, uh, BA2 from the, a form of Omarocron, explains some doctor, senior scholar at John Hopkins Health Center. The variant was first detected in August 2022 in India. And has been detected in more than 17 countries since then, including Australia, Bangladesh, Denmark, India, Japan, and the U.S. See, you know, they forcing you to get the heck out of, out of here with their craziness. This is some Dr. Uh, Fives type of shit. Or, you know, mm -mm. this is just too sick. So now... They just keep doing it. It's like there's no end in sight. The XBB is thought to have the best ability to evade uh, antibody protectors of these newly emerged COVID variants. So that means you got a damn shot for nothing? And that stuff is running around in your system too? Man, I'm sorry. Let me keep reading, you guys. XBB is thought to be have the best ability to the evade antibody protectors in these newly emerged COVID variants. Uh, according to a pre-pint study of researchers from China, the study said that the new uh, strains of Amorocron and the XBB in particular are the most antibody evasive strain tested. Far exceeding the BA.5 and approaching SARS COVID 1 level. SARS COVID 1, in case you're not familiar with it, is the strain of coronavirus that SARS, a respiratory virus, can cause. Um, 
with severe illness. Meaning, the vaccine has previously and had COVID are not enough thought to offer the same level of protection against XXB as they have with the previous strains of COVID-19. Antibody drugs like Evashield and Beptelovimab may also not be very effective against this HXBB. These variants are evolving to evade protection. The bivalent booster is likely going to be the protective against serious disease, but XXB will be imperfect against preventing infection. Don't panic, though. These MFs. Don't panic, though. When it comes to evasion of vaccine protection, it's important to recognize that vaccine protection is not all or none. Even with immune evasive variants, vaccine protection against what matters most, severe disease remains intact. XBB variant symptoms. So far, symptoms of X XB seem to be XBB, I'm sorry, seem to be sub similar to what they've been with COVID-19 in general. Fever, chills, cough, shortness of breath, difficult breathing, fatigue, muscle and body aches, headaches, loss of taste and smell, sore throat, congestive or runny nose, nausea and vomiting, and diarrhea. How contagious is it, the XBB? Well, like other strains of the moral crime, XBB is thought to be severely, very contagious. Contagious. Singapore's Ministry of Health notes that the variant now makes up 54% of COVID cases in the country, up from 22 the week before. Singapore's Ministry of Health says that XBB is at least the transmittable as currently circulating virus variants, variants. But as that there is no evidence that XBB causes more severe severe illness when will the xbb peak there are a lot of unknowns about the xbb right now okay so we can't tell you that so can't tell you when it'll peak because there's a lot of unknowns right now while it's been detected in the U.S., BA5 and BA46 continue to be the dominant variants in this country. Per CDC data, another quack group. Other variants are also started to spread at the same time, says Adalja. And it's unclear which will displace BA4.6. And BA 4.5 in the U.S. If they will likely at all. It's likely to spread to some degree in the U.S. But it's unclear if or some other related variant such as BQ11 will become dominant. Dr. Schaefer said there's con concern about the XBB and fellow variants on the rise. Watching what happens over the next several weeks is very important he says. Um, <laughs> I mean, what y'all think? And I didn't mean to uh, really go in on the CDC, but when that new director, whoever they got, you know, made those comments that she made about um, black people and um, the Tuskegee experiment. I'm like, who are these people? Who who are they? Because talking about how good of a job we did or whatever with their experiment, how come you didn't take those same experiments and use them on yourself and your people? And, you know, you want us to serve as the 
human guinea pig. That's what I think about the CDC. Black and brown people be all the testers for all these diseases. Well, let's just shoot them up with this and see what the reaction will be. Come on. I don't like this new spreading XBB part. Um, it's, 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 um, it's not good. And um, I don't know. I don't know what y'all think about this. Y'all think about it or y'all don't think about it? Because, you know, we are not out of the COVID uh, problem. Y'all act like this is just, oh, some of y'all say, oh, okay, they said we don't got to wear masks no more. You know, Michael Jackson was wearing a mask way before uh, the COVID hit. That should tell us something. Right? These people got all kinds of stuff unleashed out on us because the elite want to rule the world and they think some of us are in the way okay and they they need to get rid of us and so they're thinking of all kinds of measures and ways that they can so i don't know just tell me what y'all think about this because i'm not I, I i'm just really sick of them with this craziness all right if you like what you hear please subscribe and share the channel and um i'll be back